Hey, I'm Big Lou, Big Lou Barbecue, and other things I want to do. And what I want to do today is give you a little review of the Thermopop. I really like it. It's my favorite thermometer, but I want to point out a little issue I have with it. All right, when you turn it on, you can see that the digits are right here. And, of course, you could change the uh, digits around by pushing this little button in the back. So if it's on the side or whatever, you could, you know, turn it. I kind of like it being on the side. Uh, thermometers I've used in the past have been on the top, which is good when I'm looking down at my drum smoker. But... This one, you just put it in on the side, you can see it. It's also got a light, so it lights up, and you can see it real easy, even at night. Um, and you change it from uh, Celsius to Fahrenheit, you know, foreign and domestic uh, temperatures. Uh, real easy, so you change it back just like that, and there it is. It works quick, it works fast, I don't have to keep my grill lid open long. I use it in my oven, I use it a lot of places, but... Here in my kitchen, I have an induction stove, and it's not the best thermometer for the induction the stove. Now, I am a Thermoworks affiliate. I'll have links down below if you want to buy Thermoworks products. But on the stove, um, this is not my first choice, and I just want to make that point to you. If you're buying a Thermoworks uh, Thermopop and you have an induction stove, you may want to uh, consider that, whether you're buying it from my links down below or somebody else's links. just want to tell you that because I want to be honest with you, all right? I did call Thermoworks and asked them about the induction stove issue, and they said it may or may not happen depending on your induction stove model. Well, so let me show you what's going on. I've got some uh, hot water heating up here in a skillet, and I'll show you what happens. Big Lou barbecue. Okay, I've got a cast iron skillet with some boiling water in it. I've got my Thermopop right here. And, of course, if I leave it up high above the thing, it doesn't reset or anything. But if you get it down like that, you can be aware that it's going to reset. Now, this is not a big issue because it's right now showing the temperature, all right? Actually, it's not, no. See, there it goes, it reset. It was not showing the temperature, it was at 103. So I bring it back up, looks like that, 189, okay? And it's resetting again because it's above that electric field. All right, 96, it's working. I'll put it down there like that. You see, it's not going up. It's not changing the temperature. That's boiling water, and it's saying 88 degrees, and then it resets. It freezes up, and then it just resets like that. All right? It just resets itself. All right, so you see it's dropping because I've taken it out of the boiling water. I put it down in there. You see it's 92. You know that boiling water is going to be hotter than 89, 86. I put it down in there, and you see it doesn't go up. It doesn't work. It's in that electric magnetic field, and it's going to um, just reset. So, be aware. Now, if I've got like a big pot roast and it's way up above the thing, it doesn't doesn't bother it. But if you're right down there on the uh, stove top, it's not working, and then it resets. Okay, well, there you have it. It resets on an induction stove, especially when it gets down low toward the magnetic field. Um, just be aware of that if you're buying it. That's all I want to do. Don't want to take up too much of your time. It's a great thermometer, but gas stove, electric stove works well. But if you got an induction stove and that's all you're going to use it on, you may want to think of something else. Just letting you know, just being honest with you. Anyway, I've got links down below to all the Thermoworks products. It's a fantastic thermometer. It is my favorite one, but it can't all, it's not always my first choice when cooking on the stove. Big Lou Barbecue.